and welcome to my channel. I am Andrea and this is Beyond the Pink Door. So it's been a few weeks since I've done a sewing vlog and that's mostly because I haven't done an awful lot of sewing over the last couple of weeks. And if you follow me on YouTube and tune into my Sunday lives you'll know that I've been uh, suffering um, a bit of a shoulder problem lately. So I had my first session of physio yesterday and the physiotherapist has suggested that it's a rotator cuff injury so it's in the upper arm here i can raise my arm all around the place at the front but i literally cannot get my arm behind my back i find it very hard to bring my arm across my front and i'm finding that really difficult when i'm sewing that moving fabric into the sewing machine is really uncomfortable so it's just been too painful to sew basically but I am hoping with some physio that it will help. So she has said that there's some exercises she can give me but after a couple of sessions when the pain has hopefully got a little bit better and I can manage some exercises and I'm also waiting on an MRI just to see what is the actual I suppose intensity of what's going on. So some days are good with it, some days are bad, it's quite hard to sleep. So it's a bit of a, a never-ending circle. But I want to sew, <laughs> so I'm trying to use my willpower to just do a little bit, not push it too hard and eventually, hopefully, <laughs> it'll all be better and I'll be back to sewing. So I've, the only thing that I've made really recently is I made this Patty Do Stella top for myself and I've made Keras a couple of toaster sweaters and they've been just kind of, you know, quick sews. So I've done a little bit, come back to it and done a little bit. And that's quite hard for me because I love to set into a project and just finish it. But yeah, I just have to take it easy with my shoulder. I've also finished Jason a t-shirt. <laughs> He's waiting for this for ages. And I actually filmed a tutorial on how to clone the t-shirt and how I drew the pattern for this and somehow or another in my tidying up of my computer and my memory card I managed to delete the footage. I have no idea how I did it so I will do it again. So this is a pattern cloned off one of his favourite t-shirts. It's in this lovely denim blue French terry and I put a little tag on the sleeve. So I love these little rosy cheeks labels. I tend to put these into everything that I make at the moment. <laughs> I've got it, I've got one on this top as well. I'm trying to get used to using my camera again now and where to point things and where to look. But I have a few plans. So on last year's Make Nine plans, I had jeans and a bra and they never happened last year. <laughs> so they're back now and I'm going to give both of them a go. So I've ordered a bra making kit or three from Studio Costura. So I found these on Instagram and then I went onto their Etsy shop and I ordered some kits. So I thought it was much much easier to order a full kit of everything I need rather than trying to buy a little piece from here, there and everywhere because there seems to be a lot of little bits and pieces that goes into a bra. And I've also actually cleaned out my bra drawers <laughs> and I'm going to take them apart basically and take all the little metal bits off them and the little closures as well just so that I build up like a little stash of bits and pieces. So I've ordered a kit to make this bra. So this is the Mara bra. And this is the pattern so I'm waiting on the kit but the pattern was sent to me via an email so I've all that printed out and I've read it and I can't wait to get started and then I also ordered this one so this is the Hannah bralette I think this looks really really nice so they're coming from Estonia and I thought they would be here by now but yeah, post is just that little bit slow. And of course, no more than everything, when you're waiting on something, it just seems to take forever to come. So I can't wait to get into making those. So they're on my plan. And I think they're going to be quite a nice little project to sit down some evening, do a little piece, go back to it, do another little piece. And just be very sensible with myself and my shoulder. I also bought the Jennifer Lauren gable top pattern recently. And I've printed it out. And I've stuck it together 
and I'm going to make it from this lovely French terry from my shop. So it's this cognac colour and it's got a nice stripe in it. I don't make a lot from stripes because I'm very particular about pattern matching and I would hate if it was mismatched so I tend to stay away from it but I really like this fabric and I'm dying to make it. It's got that lovely high boat neck which I really like similar to the summer set which I adore so it's just like a slightly different top but I do love a boat neck so that's on my plan so I've had that bit done with this pre-washed I'm good to go. And then I have quite an adventurous plan for my next one I'm going to show you. So, dump them on the floor. So another thing that was on my Make 9 last year that never happened was um, jeans. Well, I did make, yeah, I, I tell a lie, I did make one pair of jeans, but I didn't like the denim I was using. And the fit was okay, but it wasn't perfect. And I know it is a difficult thing to get a fit right. I never managed to find nice denim that I really liked last year, so I just never got back to making another pair. But I had an idea this year. I've been wearing a pair of jeans that I absolutely love for the last number of years, and I love the fit of them. I don't feel I'm hiking up the waist of them all the time. They just fit me really nicely. And I just thought, when they wear out, I'm going to take them apart and I'm going to make a pair of jeans from them. So they've officially died. <laughs> They're in bits. They have, <laughs> they have completely worn out. So what I've done is I've taken one leg of the jeans apart and I've ironed it flat. And my plan is to use these pieces to make a pair of jeans. So I've left the pocket on the back piece, but I've taken the pocket off the other piece and I've left the pocket on the front one and I'm going to take the pocket off the other so that I'll use this, well the plan is, I'll use that to cut it all out and then I'll just cut out the pocket piece. I just think it's more stable if I leave the pocket on. I don't know, I've never done this before so that'll be interesting. I've got the yoke pieces and I've got the fly pieces and the waistband is a curved waistband so Possibly that's why these are just, they were so comfortable. So I've recently got denim into my shop and I was really impressed and I just love the feel of this recycled denim and I love a dark denim pair of jeans. So I've cut and washed a piece of this recycled stretch denim. It's a really lovely weight and it feels like the weight of the original jeans and it seems to have the same kind of stretch as the original jeans. And what I was really impressed with was when I was cutting this for people's orders, my fingers were quite inky, so it is quite indigo. So I pre-washed it on a full 40 degree wash to wash any of the inkiness out of it. And I was kind of afraid that when it would come out of the wash that it would be very folded and I would get all the lines in it, because that has happened before with denim for me and I hate that. But no, it actually washed beautifully. There's no lines, there's no crease marks. Um, I dried it on my clothes area in my sunroom, so I let it dry on its own and I've ironed it and it feels the very same as when it went into the washing machine. So I'm dying to give that a go. So yeah, that'll be a slow sew. And the other thing I am going to make is we got this fabric into the shop recently and Karis really, really liked it and she fancied a bomber jacket out of it. So I've actually got quite adventurous plans for somebody who wants to look after their shoulder, but I have to make plans. I feel I haven't sewn an awful lot lately and I'm really, really missing it. So we're going to make this bomber jacket. It's a jolly pattern and it's called Charlie Bomber Jacket. So that's the plan for that. So yes, I've got the Jennifer Lauren top. I have jeans, I have a bra, I have a bomber jacket. <laughs> There's lots of plans. So yeah, I mean, what is sewing without making some plans? And apart from that then this week, 
I got a very exciting delivery of and I really splashed out and I have been talking about this for like forever. I actually splashed out on a new sewing machine. So I bought the Faf Select 4.2 and I actually couldn't be more happy. I'm absolutely thrilled with this. One of the other reasons that I've found I haven't come up to sew recently, apart from the niggling pain in my shoulder, is the fact that I've just completely and utterly fallen out of love with my Husqvarna Opal. So it has been off to be repaired recently and while it was being repaired I took out my old faff and my old faff is 23 odd years old and it got a good number. I got, it did a lot of mileage over the 20 odd years that I used it and I think I was just so used to that and the beautiful stitching it did and I would still be using it. I wouldn't have bought my Husqvarna only that um, it had got very old, the tension was very hit and miss on it, the stitches are hit and miss on it. It has worked beautifully lately, but I know that someday I'll put it on and it'll just skip stitches. It's got a gear problem at this stage, it's, it's just basically worn out. So it has good days and it has bad days. So I decided to treat myself to the new version of my old machine. So this is a completely mechanical sewing machine. There's no computer, <laughs> there's no nothing. There's buttons you press down to change stitches. It's got a reverse button here, which is what I'm used to, and it's what I'm used to using on my industrial sewing machine as well. So I actually feel like it's, it's like meeting an old friend again. <laughs> so I've just started using it. Um, today is Saturday and it only got delivered on Thursday evening. It got delivered by DPD during our social Zoom class or our Zoom social sewing chatting class that we have every week. Or it's not a class, it's just a it's just a, a, a chat. And it's a chat about anything to do with sewing, anything to do with anything. Anything could happen in our social Zoom evenings. So yeah, it got delivered during that um, session, so which it was, I was so excited. Karis carried it upstairs and we unboxed it, took it out, I threaded it immediately and I made Jason the t-shirt that I've just shown you. So once I familiarised myself with it and I have some knowledge about it, because um, it's, it's the same but different to my old machine, I'll do a full video about it. So yeah. Um, it's a joy to come up to my sewing room again now. Um, I feel bad for my Husqvarna, but um, Keris is going to use it, so she's very happy to have a computerised sewing machine now. So we'll be able to sew here side by side again. So, so yeah, that's um, that's my excitement of the week. So lots of plans, lots of excitement over using my new sewing machine, and yeah. Thank you all for watching and I will either chat you in one of the live sessions on a Sunday evening or I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.